Hi guys, this is Nika. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are inside the dressing room at Ross. I really do enjoy shopping at closeout stores like Ross and Marshalls and Burlington Coat Factory, but one of the issues is that they don't really have the greatest selection of items. Basically, they have what they have, and once they're gone, they're gone. So you just kind of got to sort through everything to find things that you might like. I didn't spend too much time rifling through the racks just because that could take forever, but I did find quite a few cute items that I liked that I tried on today. I did end up purchasing a few of the items that I tried on and I did feature them in a recent haul video, so if you're interested in seeing what I got, you can go ahead and check that out. One thing that made me sad about this visit is that I did find these two very cute pairs of shoes. One was a nice tan wedge and the other one is like a barely there type of shoe with a nice chunky heel and also straps that would lace all the way up the leg, which I thought was so cute. But since they were attached by security devices, if I were to try to try them on, I probably would have tripped over myself and ended up on the floor. So I decided not to and I also couldn't take them inside the dressing room anyway. If you end up liking this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave me a comment letting me know which pieces you happen to like. And also, please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. So I forgot to film my outfit of the day, but it was probably very similar in style to what you've seen me wear in other dressing room videos, so you didn't really miss much that day. Starting off with the first outfit I tried on, on top I have on a basic black top with a cute cutout detail going down the arm. Along the bottom it does have a nice wide elastic band to keep it nice and fitted. And I did like this top, I thought it was really cute and simple, but it was just a little bit too basic for me to justify buying it, and I do already have a lot of basic pieces. However, I did fall in love with the pants that I'm trying on on the bottom. These are just a basic pair of blue slacks with these little tiny squares all over it. From a distance it looks like polka dots, but up close it's really squares. And I just love the way it fit. It was nice and stretchy. I love that it would be appropriate for work, but still just a little bit more stylish than the typical work pants. The only thing I wish is that it had pockets. It does have some faux pockets in the front and absolutely none in the back. And since it was only like 20 bucks, I did decide to purchase this one. And these, by the way, are in a size 20 and the top was in a 3X. Next up are these pair of skinny jeans. I don't have much to say about them because as you can see, they just did not fit. These were in a size 20, which is my typical pant size. Either that or a 22, but I did only see these skinny jeans in a 20, so I tried those. I really like the color, the cut, the style, everything about it, but obviously if it just won't fit, then that doesn't help anybody. Next up is this cute white dress. This one is slightly fitted at the top and flares out slightly towards the bottom. It does have a nice mesh type of lace going on at the top with that cute sweetheart neckline and those short sleeves. After putting it on, I realized that my undershirt was still on, which is why you can see that through the top lace part, um, but just ignore that and you can get the overall feel of the dress. And this one was also in a 3X. The cut and pattern of this next dress definitely gives me boho vibes, kind of like that Coachella and festival type of fashion. And I did think it was really cute, especially the way it cinches at the waist and then flares out just slightly at the bottom. And I do wear a lot of black, so I do like that this was in a nice deep color and appropriate for spring without being too bright or too florally. Florally. Is that a word? <laughs> I guess it is now. <laughs> also, this dress happens to be lined, and I am trying it on in a 3X. 
This next top was one of my favorites. It is another black top with a floral design on it. This top was in a 3X. Instead of having the basic cold shoulder, this one has a nice crisscross detail over the shoulder, which I thought was super cute. So it lets you show just a little bit, you know, just enough without giving away too much. Also, the necklace that I'm wearing is attached to this top and it is also detachable. So you can either wear it with this top or with something else. And I believe it was like $11.99 or something. A super cute top with a necklace for $12. I mean, come on. Come on, Ross. You know. You know. Next up is this dress that I am just so confused by. Um, in the still shot of this picture and on the hanger, I actually kind of like it. But then once I tried it on, it just felt kind of blah, I guess. I don't know. I thought the pattern was kind of cute. I wasn't quite sure what they were going for. I don't know as far as the look is concerned. It does have a little bit of elastic at the waist to cinch in a little bit. Also two slits that go up to about the knee on either side. Also the sleeves come to a decent length. And so in theory, I feel like I should have loved this dress, but it just didn't do anything for me on my body. And so this one was a no. On the hanger, again, this is one that I thought looked really, really cute. But if I'm being honest, it's just not my style. It is a cute white top with those pretty, pretty flowers on top, a cute bell sleeve, as well as a detail along the neckline and towards the bottom of the top. I tried this in a 3X. I was just trying to push myself a bit to see what it would look like, but really cute just for someone else. So that's it for this dressing room video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, leave me a comment letting me know which items you liked. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.